Hello and a huge welcome to this video. I'm Scorpion from How To Do, and in this video, we will be learning how to make a blood splatter system inside of Unity, like Sniper Elite 4. Um, so in the previous videos, we made this third-person character. We also uh, added the stealth killing system, like this, and we also added this rifle, sniper rifle, and he can also zoom in using the scope like this so as you can see we cannot see them from this distance but we can see them from here and then we can also kill these guys like that pretty cool there we go so if you haven't seen these videos then make sure you see them and in this video we will be adding a blood splatter as you can see if I come out of the scene view and go into the uh, go to the scene view as you can see he's lying over there but we, what we want is we want to add a kind of a blood thingy coming out over here so that uh, you know it looks realistic and all that so yeah let's let's see how to do it now it should not be as difficult as it sounds so what we want to do is we want to add a blood image so it's it's not gonna be an actual blur uh, blood or a particle system it's gonna be just an image so you can find all of these images uh, in Google so just say blood splatter PNG go to image and there you go you can see there are a whole lot of videos in here I'm gonna use this one uh, looks pretty cool and it is a PNG so it's a kind of like you can see the texture behind it which means it's a PNG no background save image as and it's a PNG image over here so just save that and then drag it inside of unity just like that simple but as you can see now the blood looks stupid <laughs> so how you improve it by going to default from default to go to sprite 2d and UI and apply that and that will take care of everything as you can see it looks pretty cool alright so now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and select one enemy and in there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and say right click create 2d object sprite and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop this sprite image on top of that sprite and there you can, as you can see there's a blood splatter all over here we don't want it to be is as big as it is right now and we want it to be on the ground so there we go pretty cool awesome so this is the blood splatter and we can place it somewhere over here so this is the blood splatter that should be uh, like that all right so it should be in there I'm gonna call it blood splatter blood splatter alright and it's gonna just uh, enable and disable on the basis of when the enemy is just dead alright so um, let's see if I play the game and if it's alright over there or not um, play the game and which one was it? Let me just quickly see. He is the second one, right? I'm gonna kill the second one. Uh, so, last one is this one. So, second one is this one, right? We cannot see the blood splatter from here, but I'm gonna kill him. And then I'm gonna come out to the scene view. As you can see, the blood splatter still remains over there. And that is pretty cool. So, blood splatter look, looks pretty cool right now. But what we can do is we can take the blood splatter and push it down a bit and this looks much much better right cool and we can take the whole enemy and of course he will be like oops uh, or we can take the just the cube and bring it somewhere over here. so it will look something like this all right pretty cool so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take the blood splatter and copy the component and get out of the scene uh, game view and then paste component values so that it is placed as uh, we were seeing we were seeing it in the game now what we need to do is we need to uh, sorry uh, we need to go ahead and delete all of these enemies because we don't need them I only need this one and I'm gonna call it enemy there we go and I'm gonna go to Carl. In the previous videos, we were able to make this FSM. So if you don't know what FSM and Playmaker is, make sure you see my video. The link will be in the description box below. In that video, I tell you uh, everything you, you need, need, need. Yeah, so you need to know about Playmaker. Yeah, so uh, you will be able to learn how to download it, how to install it, and how to use it inside of your games. And that will make your life a whole lot easier because you won't be able, to, you don't, you won't be having to 
write any code you will just use these actions and these actions are pretty cool and yeah it will save your time a lot oh okay uh, enough of that let's go ahead and go to the enemy and in there we have another FSM that is for the stealth killing system so we don't need the stealth killing on this guy so I'm gonna just go ahead and remove all of this or what we can do is we can yeah we don't need the F, uh, stealth killing on this guy right I'm gonna just delete the transition and make this a new uh, new FSM if you want you can just remain uh, leave that and just add a new FSM on it but I'm gonna use this one because we don't need a stealth killing on this guy right here because we cannot go over there right of course okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and say uh, bool test just like that and the bool which we want to do is we want to make a new bool bool is true or false and I'm gonna call this killed so this is a bool that we just made and this will become true whenever this guy is dead and it's gonna become false when he's not dead alright so whenever it is true which means when the enemy is dead I'm gonna go ahead and say show or just blood uh, splatter so which means uh, whenever the bool is true we're gonna go to a new transition blood and new state you can just go ahead and say right click add state and there we go uh, so whenever this guy is dead we are gonna come in this state and in this state we are just gonna say activate the game object um, activate game object and that is the blood splatter and that is blood splatter where is it Uh, where is the blood splatter? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. It is in this one. So blood splatter, and there we go. Blood splatter. Is this the same enemy? Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, I just changed this guy. <laughs> okay, you don't need to worry about anything. I'm gonna just copy that, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You don't need to worry about anything. I'm gonna just come in here and I'm gonna say page component as new, and there we go. Cool. <laughs> I just accidentally selected this one which has the enemy stealth killing system, and I just changed the FSM of his. And we don't need that. We want to change the FSM of this one. So you don't uh, you don't have to worry about anything. Nothing just happened. Just all right. So uh, we want to just enable the blood splatter when he is true, uh, when he is dead, and we are gonna copy this activate game object and paste it in here. So when the game starts, we don't want to show the blood splatter. All right. And now the only thing that is remaining is to control this bool. All right, this bool that is called killed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the variables and select this bool killed, and I'm gonna copy this name, copy, and then we are going to the enemy, uh, the player and in this state uh, the, this is what we made in previous videos if you haven't seen the video yet go ahead and check that out uh, otherwise you won't be able to understand what's happening in here so in this state uh, we were killing the enemies so as you can see we are playing the animation for the enemy to die and in here we want to set the animation of the bool so what we uh, we want to set the bool to true so what we're going to do is we're going to say set fsm bool as you can see over here set fsm bool the bool, uh, the game object that we want to set is the one that we just stored in here. So it's called test. If you have seen the previous videos, you will know what's happening in here. And the FSM name is FSM. As you can see over here, it's called FSM. So just type in the name that you just added in here. And then just paste the name that we just copied of the variable bool. So, and then set it to true. Alright. So what is happening in here. Uh, if I show you the FSM that we just made so we did a raycast to detect the like this is the raycast that is a laser that shoots out of the uh, gun and then it detects what uh, object that it is hitting, hitting and then we go store the game object that we just hit into a variable called the test if that test game object has the tag of enemy then we're gonna come in this state and then we're gonna set the variable uh, we're gonna set the variable killed to true on that FSM all right okie dokie so everything should now properly work so if I play the game and drag that game in there so we can see what's happening on this guy live <laughs> we're gonna see what's happening on this guy live yeah so when the game starts this blood splatter should be not visible there we go so we cannot see the blood splatter any anywhere and then we are gonna come to the game and uh, oops I'm gonna just fall there 
and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom into the enemy and kill him bam and wham okay so the blood splatter is still not visible and if I go to the enemy and go to the SSM this oh okay um, what just happened is that we have not set this to every frame which means when the game starts it's only gonna check once for if the variable is true or not so we don't need that we want to check that every frame which means every second okay so that was a silly mistake that I just made but you don't have to worry about that at all all right and I'm gonna go ahead and drag this cube out okie dokie so now everything should properly work I guess if I zoom into the enemy, where is it? Okay, there we go. And kill the enemy, bam, there is the blood splatter. But as you can see, it looks pretty, pretty stupid when it's moving with the enemy. So that is not what we want. Okay, so how do we fix that? Well, it should not be that difficult because the blood splatter comes out when he falls, right? So it's not gonna just pop out on the... Uh, like, it's gonna come out of him, right? So it should be... Uh, visible whenever he hits the ground so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select his animator controller and see his death animation it's only for it's only for how long it's for two two point two five seconds all right so we're gonna wait for two point two five seconds and that is over here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna when the enemy is killed so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new state in between and when the enemy is killed we are gonna wait wait for 2.5 seconds or just make it two seconds or let let it be okay it doesn't matter and then say finished and get over there all right so which means when the enemy is killed he's gonna play this animation so we're gonna wait for his animation and when his animation is complete we are gonna go ahead and activate the blood splatter pretty cool if I play the game now so you as you can see the cube is also moving with this enemy all right this is because the cube is the parent uh, cube is parented to this enemy or just a child of this enemy so I'm gonna just drag that out so that the cube does not move with the enemy all right okay And now if I play the game, okay, come over here and then kill the enemy, where is that, there we go, and kill him, bam, he dies, and then the blood splatter appears, but as you can see it just pops out and that looks pretty damn cheap, and that is not what we really want, so we can just make it simply look really, really, really better, uh, if I just do an anime if I just simply add an animation on it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an animation so if you don't see this and what the fuck <laughs> okay this is the animation for the uh, oops sorry so oh sorry yeah there so this is the animation for the enemy as you can see what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select this blood splatter and we will have to make an animation on it so I'm gonna go just go ahead and drag this and uh, this blood splatter out first and then select this animation window if you don't see this go to window uh, animation animation and then go ahead and select the animation and you will see this and then go ahead and select this create animation button and I'm gonna call it blood splatter there we go and here is this simple animation on top of it it's empty right now so I'm gonna just press this record button and then I'm gonna select the color for the sprite and make it el make it alpha to zero so that we cannot see it and then after one second I'm gonna make it visible there we go so this is now a simple animation that it looks something like this so blood just fades in and if I make it faster it should give a nice effect and this looks much much better than uh, just popping out right and actually we don't need it to be this much uh, we can just make it a little transparent so that we can see uh, what is be, uh, below this ground so this looks realistic right this blood splatter looks realistic look at that pretty awesome nice looks looks pretty cool there we go 
Awesome. The now only thing that we need to do is uh, also make another uh, animation for the idol, or no, just make it, just, just, just leave it. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go ahead and select this blood splatter and make sure the loop time is off because we don't want it to loop again and again, fade in and out, fade in and out. We don't need that. And what is gonna happen is that when we play the game, it's gonna disappear, right? the blood will disappear and if I go ahead and make the blood visible it's gonna animate in all right pretty cool so the only thing that we need to do is we need to pull this back inside of the enemy and we are good to go if I play the game now everything should properly work so I play the game the blood will vanish because it's not there because the enemy is not killed right now and there's the enemy and kill him and there's the blood cool pretty awesome so this is how you make the blood splatter system and if you want to move the enemy and the blood splatter should remain there like it's it's moving with the enemy right so we can just simply do that also it should not be difficult at all select the enemy go to the FSM and then when the uh, the blood is there we want to go ahead and set the parent so just say set parent of the blood splatter so specify the game object to be the blood oh come on blood splatter and then set the parent to none all right and that will take care of everything for us so that's time to play the game and that is pretty much it play the game run over there and where is the enemy kill him there he is he dies blood is there if I select the enemy and also move it the blood still remains there and look at that blood isn't it looking realistic pretty awesome look at that coolest blood I have ever seen and it's fake and it's just an image all right so this is the same thing that the uh, sniper elite 4 do they just use images instead of 3d meshes and that makes that already optimizes your game and that is pretty cool so this is it guys hope you guys enjoyed and if you like my video you can donate me some money through paypal the link will be in the description box below and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video